In today's video, we're going to be opening this Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be opening this Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. Hidden Fates is my favourite set of Pokemon cards. I have a binder started that I've never finished. I've always been on the hunt for the Charizard. So when these boxes got re-released, I just had to pick some up. I have a few ETBs and I also have some of the tins so I'll be opening those in a few videos time and hopefully I get most of the way to complete in my binder. Now let's get into the contents of the box. If you open up the outer case you of course get the poster, you get the booklet that comes with the ETB. Inside it gives you some examples of the cards you can pull, there's some descriptions, but one of my favourite bits is the set list, you can tick off as you go along and see all of the cards that you're never, go never going to pull in my case. There he is, the Charizard that has eluded me for many years now. You get the Hidden Fates dice and damage counters, and of course the card sleeves. In truth, these are not very good, but they look very nice. A pack of energies, I have so many of these. You also get the Legendary Birds promo card. This is a beautiful card. You do get similar cards in the set. Pretty good centering on this one, a little bottom heavy, but otherwise not too bad. And the back looks good too. Four card dividers. I've never had enough of these to be able to do anything with them. And of course, 10 packs of Hidden Fates. Now being as it's the Charizard we're looking for, I'm going to save the Charizard till last. And there is the code card for the ETB. And the bit I'm really excited for, let's get into opening some Hidden Fates packs. There's the code card. Four from the back. And we have, in our first pack, Energy, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Magma, a Charmeleon, Pikachu, always love the artwork on this Pikachu, Charmander, so that's Charmander and Charmeleon, a Voltorb, is Charizard coming, Coughing, Ekans, oh we've got a Celestela baby shiny, I don't have this one, this is fantastic. First pack, really happy with the pool. And a Lapras Rare, playing with his little ball there, very nice. Oh, better get my sleeves out. And straight in with the second pack, we're gonna open the Mew. I can't lie, it feels so good to be opening Hidden Fates again. Just absolutely love this set. There's the code card. And we have Energy, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, that's a lot of trainers, Caterpie, Paris, another Charmander, a Slowpoke, Psyduck, ooh, Reverse Hollow Ekans, and a Butterfree Rare. I'll keep all the pools on the table, but if they start to fill up, I'll move some of them off. Let's get into Legendary Birds. Now the Legendary Birds have some amazing artworks in this set. There's the code card. Obviously you've got the, um, the shattered glass one that we had at the start, the promo card. But you also get the Rainbow Rare, which is absolutely beautiful. We have a Psyduck, Staryu, a Clefairy, Slowpoke, a Misty Cerulean City Gem Reverse Hollow, and a Bills Analysis Rare. And for Mewtwo. There's the code card. I'll see if I can do some sort of binder update video. I'm trying to find a way of being able to record it so that it's not it's not boring and me just showing a binder. I don't know if maybe I'll throw some pack openings in there or maybe I'll do like a binder opening video where I'm opening packs and I'm filling the binder at the same time. Oh yes, a Meetang baby shiny. Look at that, two metals as well. Oh, wow, another great pull and Blaine's Last Stand. So I just need to wrap my head around just how I'm gonna do it. 
um because i've got a lot of i've got a lot of binders there you go code card um and i do get people asking me to to show the binders um so i'm just yeah just trying to figure out how i'm going to get around recording it jinx I, a lot of people say this creeps them out but i love this jinx i think this is great brock's grits clefairy coughing voltorb cubone geodude a misty's determination reverse hollow and an erica's hospitality and for a pack of charizard now we've obviously saved the charizard to last over here hopefully there's something good in this one but let's see what this one is there's the code card four from the back and we have energy chancy brock's grit scyther paris psyduck charmander magic art slow poke ah oh, a dram gx wow i've never pulled this one okay this is definitely going into the binder what a great pull and you know what i can't complain the centering looks really oh maybe it's a little bit wonky actually compared to the last lot of hidden fates i ordered which were all um to the left centered to the left this is really good it's a little bit thicker this end as compared to this one. I'm not grading it, so I don't mind. It's just going into a binder. But it's, I always found since they started putting the borders around the outside, it's so easy to tell. And a Jesse and James Hollow. Now, interestingly, this is probably my most pulled card whenever I've done Hidden Fates. I have so many of these Jesse and James. I'm starting to run out of space on the mat here. Let's open another Legendary Birds. There's the code card. I'm having so much fun opening these Hidden Fates. This is definitely my favourite set. I've been enjoying Shining Fates, I can't lie. But I think the fact that I've not been able to get hold of much of it has kind of dampened it a little bit for me. We have a Clefairy. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Magic Art. Very nice. Always love the artwork on this. <laughs> this just looks so silly. And there it is! I was saying there were some amazing Legendary Birds cards, and this is one of them. So this is the Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno GX card. What a beautiful card. So if you compare that to the promo card we got, just the two of them together, absolutely stunning cards. I'm not surprised people have graded so many of these cards. Just look at them. It's part of the reason why this set costs so much money. You get this promo card in every single box. People just want it. I'm really glad it got reprinted. Still got three packs left. The pools have been incredible. I cannot believe it. My binder's gonna really benefit from this. If I get many more pools, I'm gonna have to take some stuff off of the table. Let's get into this Mew. There's the code card there. Let me know if you get anything good with the code card. Um, I do play online, so I do tend to keep some of the code cards for myself, but I've got enough hidden fate, so I'm, I'm plenty fine. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you get anything good or if you manage to claim it. I don't know if anybody claims any of my code cards. I know I get a few comments here or there. Oh my gosh, another baby shiny. I, ca I cannot believe it. I've seen videos of people doing Hidden Fates versus Shining Fates, and Shining Fates seems to always win for pull rates. But this has been unbelievable. I cannot believe the pull rates in this box. I don't know if they've upped... I can see something behind. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if they've increased the pull rates for this reprint to be able to get more of the stuff out there. But this is absolutely incredible. Uh, what is this behind? It's a Starmie GX. I've got this one, but it's a Starmie GX. I just, I feel like they've increased the pull rates. Um, or certainly I've just had really good luck here. Um, I've, I have pulled some amazing cards. And let's get this one in as well. Three baby shinies. Two GX, the three GXs and five reverse hollows. And I've still got two packs to go. There we go. And the Mewtwo. There's the code card there. Four from the back. Oh. Trying to get away there. 
and we have Energy, Jinx, Magma, Brock's Grits, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, a Reverse Hollow Charmander, very nice. I love the baby shiny version of this Charmander. And a Brock's Training Hollow. I can't fit the Brock on the board. <laughs> he's he's going to have to go. I think I'm going to have to get rid of Misty as well there. And here we go. The final pack. We're going to open this Charizard. So I have never pulled the Charizard in Hidden Fates. But I've also never pulled the Charizard in Champion's Path. Everywhere I've ever tried, I've never got it. Um, I never got it from Darkness Ablaze. I've opened plenty of packs, but Charizard always evades me. So I'm really hoping at some point I manage to get it during this reprint. It would just be really nice to finish off the binder. So let's see what's inside here. There's the code card there. Four from the back and we have Energy, Chansey, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, a Reverse Holo Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, doing really well with the Reverse Holo Trainers, and a Jesse and Dreams Full Art Trainer that I literally just said we're doing really well with the trainers. This is great. So I have pulled this one before, so I've already got it in my set, but really happy with this. Centering's way off, it's definitely bottom heavy. Right, let's go through all the pulls from this Hidden Fates ETB. We got the Reverse Holo Charmander, Magikarp, Ekans, Misty's Determination, Misty's Cerulean City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, and then for Hollows, we got Brock's Training, Jesse and James, we got the Baby Shiny Dartrix, Meetang, and Celesteela. And then we came into a Starmy GX, a Jesse and James Full Art Trainer, the Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno Legendary Birds Trio. Very nice tag team card there. And the Drampa GX. And of course, not forgetting the promo card. I'm going to say it. I think this is the best ETB I've opened. I'm really happy with this. I'm going to get all of these into the binder so that I know what I've got left to pull. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on keeping on.